pattern the problems regarding states of mind. Let's see. Here we have one problem. Let's read the problem first and try to understand which law should be applied there. We have learned the number of laws in the states of matter. So we have to select a particular law and apply that mathematical equation here to solve this problem. Okay. A vessel of 120 ml capacity contains a certain amount of gas at 35 degrees Celsius and 1.2 bar pressure. The gas is transferred to another vessel of volume 180 ml at 35 degrees Celsius. What would be its pressure? So from the question you can see here. Here we have 120 ml volume given. And that volume has changed. At the second part of the question to 180 ml. So volume has changed. Right? This is the initial volume. And this is the final volume. So the volume has changed. And now in the initial case. Temperature is 35 degrees Celsius and in the final case also temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. That means temperature is kept constant. Okay. Now you got the idea about which will be the law. Isn't it? When temperature is kept constant which is the law? Boyle's law. Nothing to think much. Now what about the pressure? We will see initial pressure was 1.2 bar. Okay. And then what would be the final pressure that is the question. So P1 we have it here. And then what is P2 is the question. So what is our question? We have to find out the final pressure. And the temperature is kept constant. We have the change in volume given. So the law that should be applied here is Boyle's law. So we will write P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 because temperature is kept constant. And now we have P1. P1 is equal to 1.2 bar. P2 we do not know. We have to find out P2. We do not know the final pressure. That's what we are asked to find out, right? And now V1 we have. That is 120 ml. 120 ml. And now we have V2 that is 180 ml. 180 ml. Fine. And now we can find out easily from this equation. From this equation we can easily find out what is P2. So P2 is equal to P1 V1 divided by V2. So we have got the final equation that is needed for to find out, needed to find out the final pressure P2. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to just apply these values into the given equation and find out by calculating that. That's all. Very simple, right? So let's apply to it. So we have applied those values into this equation. You can see here P1, P1, P1 divided by V2, right? So 1.2 bar into V1. 120 ml divided by 180 ml. So this ml and this ml will be cut away. Okay. So 1.2 bar into 120 divided by 180. You will get the answer 0.8 bar. So what would be its final pressure P2? That is 0.2 bar. It's easy right.